had an open border, and only we would legalize drugs, all these problems would go away. Well, look, we've pretty much got an open border, and Colorado has legalized drugs, and guess what? It is now the prime location in the world for organized crime, where they are distributing all kinds of drugs, not just marijuana, throughout our entire country. That's not the answer, but that's where we are in America right now. Create a law, or when he can't, when he can't create a law through Congress, then then he uses the the, the you know the bureaucracies in the executive branch to, to create rules and regulations, for executive order, and ultimately, when it comes to uh, when he can't even get that done, then he uses foreign bodies. He uses uh, you know the United Nations to try to change the laws in the United States, which is not what the United Nations is for. I'll give you an example. Going back to April of 2013, you know, there was an effort to ban certain types of guns. Not because they operated any differently than any other type of gun, but because they looked scary. Yeah. So we're going to ban those because they look scary. Now that's not what I, that's what the president said. Now, ultimately, he couldn't get it done because the Senate blocked it, which was the right answer. And then he said, okay, we're going to limit magazine sizes. The Senate blocked that because it was the right answer. And then he wanted a uh, universal background check, which in reality is a national gun registration, let's be clear. He wanted universal background checks, which is a national gun registration, and he couldn't get that. So then here comes the United Nations Arms Trade Treaty, which creates an international secretariat where if you have any gun that has any part made in any foreign country, then you have to do not a national background check, an international background check, and there's an international gun registry. What does the President of the United States do? He, he pushes for it. John Kerry pushes for it, and then they sign it. So when they can't get things done through Congress, when they can't get things done through executive order, when they can't unilaterally decree that they're not going to enforce a law, they go to the United Nations and they sign a treaty. Now, let me be clear. The Second Amendment of the United States of America is not open for debate by foreign governments. And that's where this president gets it wrong. Okay, Gabe is telling me I have time for one more question. Yes, ma'am. The only way I see out of this is to overwhelmingly change the Senate Thank you. so that we then can impeach the SLB. <laughs> you know, you look so sweet. <laughs> It's just horrible what's going on, yeah. and nobody's doing anything about it. Right. And, uh, and let me let me be clear, you're absolutely 100% right. As long as Harry Reid and the Democrats are in charge of the Senate, there is there is nothing that can be done to hold this president accountable. 